Okay, so we're here with Eric Stewart, voice actor known for Pokemon, known for Yu-Gi-Oh! video games, and in a band that has played with uh, Leonard Skinner and Ringo Starr. The man is highly accomplished. Mr. Stewart, first of all, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for having me, and thanks for that intro. That's great. I'm going to have to change my bio. That's it. That was <laughs> much better than what's written. Well, uh, you're, this is day four of Yomacon, and uh, it's, it's kind of awesome to see uh, the celebrities are still here, still doing their thing. Uh, you're from Brooklyn, however, wondering uh, when you're in Detroit, what do you like to do? Oh, wow, that's an amazing question. Um, you, you got me. Um, so the last time I was in Detroit was about 20 years ago. Whoa. So when I arrived here and saw what you guys have done with the city, I was blown away. Um, it's just really nice to see. I mean, this is, this is impressive. Um, the convention is impressive, but also just the area. It's nice to see rebuilding. So I hadn't had a chance to really do much except experience this, but now I know I can come back um, and check things out. I mean, you guys, what, is it Greek Town that's right over there? It is, that, it is yes. Right, right, so I want to check that out next time when they're not making working me so hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now, pr pretty tight schedule. Um, out of curiosity, what is the question you get asked most about your voice acting career? Um, I would say it goes between two things. One is, what's your favorite uh, character? Which is a very hard uh, answer because um, it's like children. You know, you know, there's things about all of them that you like, unless you're an only child, and then you don't have to worry about your brothers and sisters being the, you know, your parents' favorite. Um, but uh, that's the, that's the first one. What's your favorite character? And the other one is, um, how do I get into the the business? That's another one too, which is why I do two sort of very educational panels when I do conventions, one on voice acting, and then today the one I'm doing on directing and adaptation because I directed a lot of the shows too. Yeah, and that's that's sort of something that piqued my interest. How is it uh, when you're directing, uh, how is that going to be different from, say, uh, when you're directing voice actors? How is that different from directing live action, or how is that different from just being in the booth? Right, so voice acting, um, you know, it's all theater of the mind, it's, you know, especially with like radio and things like that. Um, we can play anything we can sound like, not what we look like. So I'm limited to what you would cast me in as a, in a play or on camera. Um, and also on camera actors and play actors have the crutch of the physicality. They can help convince you of a role based on gestures, body movement, stuff like that. We can't do that. It's all just here. So um, it's, uh, to me, it's a little bit more under the microscope, um, but it's also completely there's this freedom because you can you close your eyes and I've played women I've played you know different accents things like that so it's a lot of fun and I can dress like this and it doesn't matter so when you're getting ready to do such range how, how do you warm up <laughs> so I'm gonna get in trouble for this because there's definitely voice actors who like you know I do my exercises and this and that I like to gargle in the shower with the hot water that's my ah. thing uh, and then drink my black coffee of course caffeine's not the greatest thing in the world for voice acting but still uh, just no milk dairy's bad um, and then, of course, late at night, I might have a nightcap, just to, if I have to sing a vocal or something like that. But, it's not, but not, I don't do my singing drunk, just a little <laughs> stiff, yes. So uh, who's, who's been the most taxing character you've played? Like Brock, Kaiba? Taxing. Uh, I played a very weird character uh, on a show called Dinosaur King, where I was Dr. Z, where I had to scream in a high-pitched voice for a long time uh, in every episode. That was, uh, that was a bad casting choice, on my, or at least voice choice on my, my, my behalf, yeah. Uh, who of all of your characters is your favorite to do an impression of for your fans when they ask? Um, well, see, Kaiba is very close to my own voice, so th that's just too easy. Um, I do like to do James for them because they're uh, they're surprised that I was both Brock and James on the show, and uh, and of course James is just so funny with his woo laughing and stuff like that. So that usually is the one that's the most fun. Mr. Stewart, thank you so much thank for you. joining us today. It has been wonderful. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so it's local four, right? It's local four. Okay. Look at that plug. You're watching Local 4. This is James from Pokemon, and woo, we're blasting off again!